Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I am the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar is part of a five-part series that we've put together for new members especially, or really anybody that's logging into BNI Connect for the first time. We're going to break it down into some small bite-sized chunks so that you can get the best experience possible out of BNI and out of BNI Connect. Today's presentation is on really filling out your profile, which is the first step of uh, working with BNI Connect is making sure that your profile is up to date. Uh, tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit more about how to use the online referrals and the online slips program in BNI Connect. Wednesday we'll talk about the um, really the social media portion of BNI Connect, how to use the bigger part of BNI Connect in order to really connect with other people in BNI around the world. Next week, we're also going to talk about the tools and reports, so diving a little bit deeper to see what kind of information you can get back out of BNI Connect and other things that you can use in the system. And finally, next week, we will round it all off with the visitor process in BNI Connect. So this is that five-part series, and again, this is the first one. Now, all of these webinars, just a couple of housekeeping uh, tips, uh, first of which is that this is a live webinar. So if you have any questions at all as we're going through the material today, please feel free to ask those questions. I love getting questions and I love to answer questions. The best way to ask a question is to please type that question into the questions panel in this GoToWebinar software. You'll also find a couple of handouts there if you'd like to download those, which will um, give you a little bit more help on some of the topics that we'll be discussing in each of the webinars. We will also be recording this webinar, so if you couldn't make it or if you'd like to share this with somebody else to review, you'll be able to find the recordings in two places, the first of which is the support site, support.bniconnect.com. The second place is by going to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash bniconnectglobal. Again, that's youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. So before we get started in BNI Connect itself, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background about what BNI Connect actually is and what it does for the organization and for you as a member. Um, first of all, BNI Connect is huge. It's not just a website. BNI Connect ties all of BNI together. And right now, if you you know, do a drop down of the drop down list. We have 72 countries, 948 regions, and over 7,000 chapters in BNI Connect. That is a lot of people, about 195, actually as of a couple of days ago, it was 198,000 active members. That means that you are part of that network and you can use BNI Connect to connect with any of those other members around the globe. So, in some ways, it's really kind of this BNI social media networking site. It's also really, you know, BNI's CRM and kind of QuickBooks for you and your chapter. So it tracks all of the transactions that you're doing. So that POMS report that tells you how many referrals that you're given, how many referrals you've received, your um, testimonials to other members. I mean, all of this stuff we track through BNI Connect on a day-to-day -day basis. That's an incredible amount of data. There's also discussion groups, and there's 500 active discussion groups. So what I like to say is, you know, BNI Connect really is, it, it is, you know, kind of QuickBooks for BNI. It's almost like a LinkedIn for BNI members as well, but just exclusive to BNI members. And then it's also a, you know, what we call a CMS or a content management system. It drives websites. So there's, I don't know if you know this, but once you get your profile filled out, it's available in four distinct places. It's available up on our country website. So if you happen to be here in the United States, go to BNIAmerica.com. You have a profile up on BNIAmerica.com. You also have a profile on your regional website. If you're not sure what that is, go ahead and click the regional website button in the upper right-hand corner once you log into BNI Connect. Now, I'm a member here in Rhode Island, so our regional website is bniri.com and I have a profile there. I also have a profile on my chapter page. So that's three public profiles that are all out there with my information, my company, my website, my social media addresses, all backed by the power of BNI's SEO. Then inside BNI Connect, there's the member to member directory where anybody in the world can see your profile here internally in BNI Connect. 
just some geeky information if anybody is uh, interested in it. As I mentioned before, it's not a website, it's a web application. There's about a thousand individual pages in BNI Connect, about 120 reports. One of the things that makes it so complex is that we also have to translate every single thing in there into 47 languages, which means there are 14,700 individual you know, field names and labels that need to be translated. That's a whole lot of stuff. There's about a million lines of code all together. And as I said, what I absolutely love about BNI Connect is it really allows us to do business networking on a global scale. So you're involved in a local chapter, but your network expands well beyond the walls of your chapter. So let's take a look at BNI Connect and Today's session really is about how do we you know, make the most out of our profile? How do we fill out our profile properly in order to find that? Now, let me show you why you want to do that. I'm going to go up to one of our, uh, our, our test sites, and I go to AntarcticReferrals.com. This is our, uh, our, our test site up in Antarctica. And if I go to, let's say, find a chapter... And I look at all the chapters that are up there. And let's say that I want to visit the BNI Burr chapter. I can also take a look at all of the people that are members of that chapter. So they have these some great people up there. We have Adam Sandler. We have Harvey Keitel. So let's take a look. Uh, let's say I want to meet Harvey Keitel. And when I click on Harvey's profile here, that's not a very complete profile. It's not really sharing much information. Part of this whole process is called VCP. Visibility and credibility leads to profitability. You have to have both. We're providing the visibility by putting this profile up on the sites, but there's no credibility being built here through this profile. Now, let's go instead and I'm going to go to my regional website. So now I said before, you can get to your regional website if you log into BNI Connect and click up here in the upper right-hand corner, it says regional website. This is your local regional website. So if I go to find a member here and I'm doing a search, I can do a search for Jeremy Walsh. And by the way, once you get your profile going, even if I just do a Google search for Jeremy Walsh, the very first thing that comes up is my Wakefield member details. And this is a much more complete profile. So you can see all my social media links. It has the ability to send a message. Plenty of ways to get in touch with me. It describes my e ideal referrals and I can even embed a video in my, my business description. Now, you take that versus, let's go back to uh, Antarctic referrals. There is a big difference between that and let's go back to Harvey. Oops. This must have spelled his name wrong. There's Harvey Keitel here. That right here is a much different profile than this. And I'm going to show you today how to fill both of those out. Now, I did mention there's those public places, but here within BNI Connect, if we click on this magnifying glass up here in the upper right-hand corner, this is your inside BNI directory. So if I do a search here, for example, for myself, and I'm going to search for Jeremy Walsh, you can search by category, you can search by, let's say, plumber in Florida if you'd like to. So I have, for example, my profile up here on Antarctica. This is my testing profile. And once again, not a very good profile doesn't have anything filled out for any weekly presentations or gains or there's no testimonials, no groups, no training history. So this is a very, very basic, basic profile. And this would be my profile if you were to find me in BNI Connect. You can see I filled out my weekly presentations and my gains and my tops profile. Once people start leaving you testimonials, you can find those here as well. There's also a photo sharing library. 
And finally, we have the groups and training history. So how do you fill out all of this information? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we do have one comment here. Uh, Debbie says uh, she seems to be about three or four slides behind the speaker. Um, I can try to go a little slower to make sure that the video catches up. Um, but if you're having, uh, if you're consistently behind by a lot of slides, you may want to just close out of GoToMeeting and then try to connect back into the webinar. It might just be a bad connection for you. So sorry about that, Debbie. All right. So how do you fill out your profile? How do you get that information up into BNI Connect so that it is updated? Well, it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, what you're going to do is here on the home page, there's a couple of different ways to get there. There's one right here that says Update Profile, My BNI Page. And then up here at the top, you can also click on Options, My Account. So if you're on any other page in BNI Connect, go to Options, My Account, or from the home page, click on Update Profile, My BNI Page. And this will take you, you know, both things will take you to the same place. So this is the back end portion of your profile. Now, all you have to do, you only have to fill this out once, by the way. So even though it's on, you know, in my case, it's on BNIAmerica.com, it's on BNIRI.com, it's on uh, the BNI Wakefield chapter page as well, and the internal profile, even though it's in all four of those places, you only need to update it one time. And once you click Submit on that, it will update it everywhere that it is displayed. You'll see that the profile is broken into a bunch of different tabs here. If you click through these tabs along the top, that's where all the information is stored. So what we're going to do is just kind of go through these different tabs, and I'm going to highlight some pretty important things in here. All right, so the first tab is mostly your, your main profile information. Now, some of this stuff you can change, and some of it you can't. For example, you see that I can't type into my first name or last name field here. That's because if you need to request that type of change, you can send that request in. One of the reasons for that, by the way, that you can't just change your name or your company name is because essentially when you fill out an application to BNI, that is really a contract between you and your chapter. So this is just one of those ways that we make sure that the paperwork matches up with what's in BNI Connect. Scrolling down a little bit further, we do have a couple of things here. Registered tax office and VAT reference number. Um, I'm pretty sure we have some people from Canada on with us today. If we have anybody on the webinar from the UK, those fields um, are important to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I, I think it's, in, uh, it's either in the UK or in Germany where you have to have your VAT reference number listed on your profile. Here in the United States, we don't need to worry about those. That's why I've left both of those blank. The classification and industry, again, those are read-only fields. If you do find that they are not what they should be, I do recommend just talking to your membership committee, talking to your vice president, and they can go in and get that updated for you. Um, usually, you'll have to you know, fill out a new application. Um, however, you don't usually have to pay. But again, as I had mentioned before, the paperwork usually needs to match what's in BNI Connect. All right, going down, we have two more things, the My BNI Business and the Keywords. The My BNI Business and the Keywords. Now, the My BNI Business one, um, this is really, the way I like to think about this is, let's say that you're at your chapter meeting, your weekly chapter meeting, or you're out at a chamber function or something like that, and you meet somebody new there. So let's say it's a visitor that happened to come to your BNI meeting. The My, the My Business description is kind of, how would you explain your business to somebody that you know, didn't know your business before? Now, one thing to keep in mind, it's really important to know that people tend to skim or not read a whole lot of text on the internet. I mean, there's so many web pages nowadays and people are blowing through them really, really quickly with very short attention spans. So you wanna make sure that what you put in here is you know, quick and to the point, I'd say no more than two or three sentences, four sentences at the most, and make sure it's very catching. Now, the other thing that you can do if you're interested is you can, A, format this with HTML code, which is a little bit advanced, but you can do that. But the second thing is, is because it accepts HTML, formatting, you can also embed a video. And this is where you can really take your profile to the next level. All you have to do is to 
upload a video of yourself up to, let's say, YouTube or Vimeo or any of those video sharing sites, and they will give you what's called an embed code. All you do is take that embed code, you copy it, and you paste it in here. You can see that I have right here, it says iframe. That is the embed code, and that allows a video to be displayed on the profile. So if I go to my profile, for example, here in BNI Connect, you can get there if you want to click the profile link down at the bottom of the page. That will take you to your profile. You can see how there is a video here that's embedded right within my profile. And it would just play that video as part of your profile. Now, if anybody's interested, I don't want to get too far off track, but if you'd like me to show you exactly how to do that, just drop a question into the questions panel, and at the bottom of the hour, uh, we'll go through that part of it step by step. All right, the second most important thing on this tab is the keywords. And the keywords are ultimately important because that is how people will find you when they don't know your name. It's not very often that on the public website or within BNI Connect that we're going to be searching for somebody directly by their name. Most of the time, we're going to be saying, hey, yeah, I'm looking for an IT contractor in Pittsburgh, or I'm looking for a plumber in Pennsylvania, or I'm looking for a web designer in Wyoming, whatever it is. So it's really important to put in keywords. Now, BNI Connect is a database search. Okay, we don't quite have the budget um, or the super secret algorithms that Google or Bing or Yahoo does. So you really need to supplement what it is that you want people to find you for in the keywords. So by default, it's going to search for, again, your name and your industry and your classification, uh, your address details. But if all you have in there is your industry and classification, chances are you may not be found. So Make sure that you update your keywords. Lots of different things that you can do there. Um, obviously, you're going to put in the other services that you offer. However, you can also put some other things in there. For example, you'll notice that a couple of my keywords, the first couple of keywords there, are the abbreviations for Massachusetts and Connecticut. Now, for those of you that remember your geography, Rhode Island is the smallest state in the Union. Uh, it's about 800 square miles. It is a tiny state. It's probably smaller than most major cities in the United States. So that said, a lot of people in Rhode Island do business across the borders. So I, my company does business in Massachusetts and Connecticut, so I want to make sure that somebody's doing a search for you know, computers in Massachusetts or computers in Connecticut that they find my profile as well. That also works for those of you that may live in really big states like California or Texas or Arizona. So let's say that your business is in um, uh, Scottsdale, but you also want to make sure that if people type in you know, laundry services in Phoenix, that they find you for that as well. So you might want to put the names of cities in here as well as services and states. Now, once you click Update, all of that stuff is published immediately. Uh, the, the keywords will take up to a half hour to refresh, but everything else, the pictures and um, the, the video and the My Business description, all of that takes place immediately. All right, the next tab here is your user profile tab. And this one's pretty important because it has stuff like your username and your password. Now, your username does not need to be your email address. If you want it to be your email address, you can have it be your email address, but it doesn't have to be. It can be anything you want it to be as long as it's unique in the system. You can change your password anytime you want to as well. Now, memorable question and answer, that's if you happen to forget your password, what happens is, and by the way, take note of this if there's anybody in your chapter that has not logged in to BNI Connect yet or has logged in but forgotten their password, they can always go to Forgot Password. It's going to ask for your email address. And I got to put in this CAPTCHA code. Once it finds you, it's going to ask your memorable question. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? That is whatever your memorable question is here, and you have to make sure that you answer it correctly. If you answer it correctly, it will give you the ability to change your password right then and there. 
but it is very important. These are case and space sensitive. So I have to make sure that I would put in 27 lowercase mp capital H in order to do that. Or if I had a space in here, I'd have to make sure it was 27 space mp capital H. So it's very important to make sure that you get that right. Uh, you can also see all of the different languages that we have here in BNI, um, including about a dozen different versions of English, by the way. Check your time zone. If you made any changes, be sure to click Update. Now, down below, we have my profile image and logo. If you need to upload an image, I'm going to go ahead and delete this logo, and let's upload a new one. Click on Change Company Logo. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass here. And let's go and find a new logo. Here we go. Just browsing your computer for a new logo. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the white version this time. Here we go. All right, you can crop it if you need to. Um, by the way, the best format I've found for these are PNG files. Uh, there isn't a specific size requirement as far as you know, length and width and stuff like that, but there is, uh, it is limited to five megabytes in size. Now the next tab is going to be all of your contact details. And this has all sorts of spaces for address and phone number and all of your social media links and your address and your business address and all of that stuff. The most important thing on this entire page is right here at the top. You should see a thing that says, show me on the BNI public website. Show me on the BNI public website. If you uncheck this box, you cannot be found on BNIAmerica.com or on your regional website. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and update that. If I go back out to my regional website here and I search for members, and I specifically even search for my name, I am no longer found here on my public website. Even if I go to my chapter and I look at BNI Wakefield, my chapter, I am no longer listed as a member of my chapter. I am completely hidden. See, it says I have 47 members in my chapter and only 46 people are listed. I am completely hidden from the public websites. I don't want that. I would like to remain on the public website. So I'm going to make sure that I check that off. Now, certain professions, uh, I know uh, some financial advisors, they may need to opt out. That is how you opt out by clicking that link right there. You can put in all your phone numbers. And down here, you can choose which of those things will show on the public profile. Now, again, we will never show your email address on the public websites, but there is the ability for them to send you a message that goes to your email address. So you can choose whether or not that send message link shows up, but we will not share your email address out there. You can put in all your social media addresses. So, for example, I happen to have three Facebook addresses. So I put all three of them in. I just chose a different label. Um, on your profile, those things don't show up anyway. So if I go to, for example, my profile here, you can see it just lists all of the social networking links. It doesn't have those labels in front of them. So you, if you need to put multiple Facebook or put multiple Twitter accounts or something like that, you can use other ones that you might not be using. All right, it also says which address would you like to appear on the BNI website, your main address, your billing address, or neither. I do recommend having your address up there and having it be visible. Now, if you happen to have a home office um, and you don't want to share your personal address with the world, that's fine. Under your, make sure that your setting is, so you're going to show your main address, but make your address line one by appointment only. Okay, or private or something like that that doesn't show the address, but leave your town and city and zip and stuff in there so you can still be found that way. And make sure you leave your billing address to be something that your regional office, your executive director, director consultants, if they want to mail out, you know, Christmas cards or um, something like that, that you can be included on that mailing list. 
Now the next tab is the member to member. So you have the, this tab really, all the permissions here have to deal with the public website. Again, bniamerica.com or um, you know, bniri.com, bniarizona.com, those types of things. These permissions have to do with the inside. So this profile here on the inside, you can control which of these tabs along the top people are able to access and see on your profile. So for example, the bio tab, so that second tab, this bio tab, I can choose whether or not I turn this tab on or off so people can't see my presentations or my gains or my tops profile. And I can choose who gets to see it. Does everybody get to see it? Do just people I'm connected to, for example, your entire chapter or people that you end up connecting with afterwards, or does nobody get to see that? Same thing with the connections and the testimonials, the picture gallery, whether or not you're choosing to show your email address. For example, you can choose on your inside only profile, we will show your email address if you want it to be shown. But you can choose to turn that off as well. Now here's a, here's a big one, show my contact details. By default, that is set to only show your contact details to my connections. I highly recommend that you show your contact details to everyone. That way, people can call you if they, uh, if they want to get in touch with you. If they find your uh, profile here in BNI Connect, they can actually get in touch with you. Now, scrolling down the group posts, you can choose how often you want to receive uh, notifications if you're participating in the groups. Below that, we have email forwarding. Now, this email forwarding only applies to these couple of emails down here, which are the social media notifications. Um, when you get a new connection request, when you get a new testimonial, for example. All the other notifications, like if you register for an event or you reset your password, those will always go to your regular email. Um, it's just these social media ones if you'd like them to go to a different email address. The next tab is your bio. Now, filling out your profile in general, well, it'll take you about 90 seconds to do the rest of this. It'll probably take you about 15 minutes to a half hour to do just this bio tab. And that's just because there's a lot of writing on this one. Now the bio, uh, the first part of it, my bio, this is the same traditional bio we have used for the past 30 years in BNI. Um, I mean, I've been a member since 2002, so coming up on 16, 15 years now. Um, and this is the same bio that we've always filled out just electronically. So years in business and city of residence and something no one knows about you. Do yourself a favor and fill this out. That will save you some time when it's time to do your 10 minute presentation at your chapter. Your secretary treasurer won't have to chase you down for this information. It'll just be part of your profile. Now the next two things here are weekly presentations. Now why ever would I take the time to put in a weekly presentation up in BNI Connect? There are 198,000 members in BNI right now. All of them have access to BNI Connect, and all of them are using BNI Connect at one level or another. Now, I'll tell you whenever I'm looking to pass a referral. So, give you an example. I have a client that has an office down in Washington, Washington DC, who we manage remotely, but their server crashed and we could no longer access it. The first thing I did was I went to BNI Connect and I found a local member down in Washington, D.C. I said, hey, can you help me out? I can't get into the server. They were there at 8.30 the next morning. I got that because I read their profile. I trusted them. I took a look at what their commercials were. I saw that they could connect easily with what it was that I was asking them to do. I can tell you there was four or five other people that I found whose profiles were not filled out that I did not refer that business to specifically because I couldn't even get in touch with them. Now, the weekly presentations is the only other place in the system where you can put a um, basically HTML code, um, which means that you can embed a video in there. The gains profile is pretty straightforward. Goals, accomplishments, interests, networks, and skills. Before you do a one-to-one, -one, I recommend that you look up somebody's gains profile. It will take your one-to-one -to, -one to a deeper level. And finally, we have the tops profile. The tops profile is an important one to do. If you only have, let's say, five minutes, do the TOPS profile first and then come back and do the other ones. And the reason for that is the TOPS profile is the one that appears on the public website. The other three 
only appear internally. So only in the logged in members only portion of BNI Connect, whereas the TOPS profile appears on the public internet side as well. If you're a director, you also have a small director profile that you can fill out. And finally, your training history. Now, the training history is one of those things that you can't edit, but you do want to check it for accuracy. Um, if you went to the member success program and it's not listed there, just contact your regional office and they can square that away for you by putting in any training events that you might have attended but are no longer there. All right, and that, my friends, is the profile in BNI Connect. What I'd like to do now is to open this up to any questions. You have any questions about uh, BNI Connect in general or specifically about the profiles in BNI Connect? So we do have one question here for Ray. Uh, Ray says, I'm unable to log in because when I click on forgot my password, a memorable word, I don't get a temp or actual password by email. Hey, Ray, um, have you tried doing, there's, uh, there's another link there on the homepage that says new to BNI Connect, register now. Um, if you click on new to BNI Connect, it, it'll look for your email and that will send you an actual registration link, which is a little bit different than pa uh, setting up the, or resetting your password. If that doesn't work, do me a favor, just shoot me an email, support at bniconnect.com, support at bniconnect.com, and I will be happy to reset your password for you or get you set up with a, with a new account. Okay, does that help, Ray? All right, what other questions do you have? By the way, um, while you're thinking of any questions, just a reminder, this is part of a longer series. Um, so you can find the series, if you'd like to see it, on your regional event calendar. Or, of course, you can always go to our support page. If you click on this question mark in the upper right-hand corner, this will take you to the support page. You can click on Upcoming Webinars. And a good referral for me is to please join me for uh, these additional webinars or recommend these webinars to somebody in your chapter or somebody in your region. So tomorrow we're going to take the next step. We're going to talk about the referral process. How do we use the online slips and why do we want to use the online slips? After that, we're going to talk about the social media section. That's going to be on Wednesday at, Wednesday at this same time. Then we have member tools and reports. That's next Monday. And then next Tuesday, we have the visitor process in BNI. Uh, Debbie has a question. She says, do these webinars count as CEUs? Absolutely, yes. Make sure on your homepage, go ahead and click on submit CEU slip and give yourself one credit for BNI webinar. So give yourself one credit for today's class. So absolutely, they count as CEUs. Uh, let's see, Megan says, I sent out an email this afternoon. I am registered, but it will not find me or ask me my question. Um, excellent. So, Megan, did you send an email into uh, support? So, make sure you send. I, I didn't. I, I, I also work the support desk. I'm not sure I saw an email come through specifically from you, so do me a favor if you could just resend that, support at bniconnect.com. So if you sent it to support at bni.com, that actually goes to a different place. But if you send it to support at bniconnect.com, we should be able to help you out. Uh, let's see, Susan says, the part of your profile that says kicking you <laughs> kicking and screaming part, uh, yes, that is my tagline for my company, dragging you clicking and screaming into the 21st century. You can update that as part of your profile just by you know, typing in this box and clicking save. It's almost like a little miniature Facebook or LinkedIn message update. Cool. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Megan. All right. Uh, Joe says, what about the photo gallery? Uh, good, good question, Joe. Now, that, that's a weird one. Even though it, it appears on your profile, so the photo gallery, by the way, is right here. So you see I have a bunch of photos up here. They can be anything from, you know, pictures of yourself. Uh, you know, they could be networking pictures. I mean, what, whatever it is that you'd like to put up there is fine. Well, yeah, obviously within with good taste and reason. Again, this is part of your credibility. One thing that um, people have done also is to put up things like testimonials from their clients. As long as you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG file, that's a great idea to do. 
Now, it would be great if this was just part of, uh, you know, update profile that it was there, but this is actually in a special place. If you click on Network Picture Gallery, this is where you would upload any photos up into your gallery. Now, you do have a maximum of 20 photos that you can upload with only up to 5 megabytes apiece. So if I wanted to replace any of these, for example, I'm going to get rid of this uh, help one. I can get rid of that. And now I'll see my upload button appear. And I can go and browse for an image to upload. And that's all there is to it. Now that will be part of my picture gallery here. And my upload button went away again because I hit maximum capacity here on my photos. Uh, Barb says, I've sent in my info but have no profile yet. Barbara uh, from Elite Chapter. Um, Barb, the profile is something that you fill out yourself. So uh, uh, if you're, for example, giving your info to your chapter secretary treasurer or something like that, they don't have access to update that for you. Um, so you need to log in to BNI Connect in order to fill out the information. If you don't have a login to BNI Connect, um, can you do me a favor, please? Send me an email, uh, because as soon as I close out of this uh, webinar software, I won't have your information in front of me anymore. But if you could, please do me a favor, uh, support at bniconnect.com, and just say, can you please reset my password, and I will be happy to uh, reset your password for you. All right, support at bniconnect.com. All right, and as soon as we get that, we should be able to get that done, you know, in the next couple of minutes as soon as we uh, are finished with the webinar. All right, do we have any additional questions at all? Yep, yeah, Barb. I'm happy to help you out. Do me a favor and just shoot me an email and we'll get this squared away um, you know, rather than using everybody's time on the webinar. Or you're welcome to give me a call after this webinar and I can help you out that way as well or I can give you a call. All right. Cool. Are there any other questions? All right, if there's no additional questions, um, what I'd like to do is thank everybody for their time today. Thank you for being here, learning more about BNI Connect. And to those people, uh, uh, Megan and um, Barb, we'll get right back to you uh, ASAP with getting you set up in BNI Connect. For everyone else, remember a good referral for me is to please um, let other people know about these webinars. If you got any good nuggets out of today, please share those with the other people in your chapter. And I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Happy connecting, everyone.